Hello, welcome to Demo, part of our video intelligence series on the setup of a video intelligence abandoned removed alarm on Video Edge. This rule detects all objects that have been abandoned or removed from a region of interest. Today we have a scenario in a high-end clothing store where store management are reluctant to use traditional tags to protect their expensive purses as the clientele of the store finds the tags obtrusive. So what we're going to do instead then is use the abandoned remove rule to alert store security when a person has been removed from a display. Security can then track the person who removed the item and they can find out whether they are intending to purchase the item or whether it was removed for a more sinister reason. Okay, so to set the rule up then we need to configure it on our video edge. So the first thing I'm going to do in Victor is just expand out my recorders folder, right click on the appropriate recorder and choose configure. It's going to open up the video edge administration interface. And the first thing we need to do in here then is to enable video intelligence on the appropriate camera. So I'm just going to choose the setup icon next to that camera which covers the area. And I'm going to choose video intelligence from the video analysis drop down. And I also need to ensure that my camera is in one of the two video analysis recording modes at the top there. And they are record only alarms or record always with alarms. Okay. With that done and enabled on the camera we can save that change. And now I'm ready to go ahead and set the alarm itself up. So I'm going to choose alarms under devices. And I already have my camera selected from the drop down because it was the first one in the list. So I'm just going to go ahead and choose the plus icon to add a new rule to this camera. And I'm going to go ahead and give it a name first of all. Once I've named that, the next thing I need to do is select the rule type from the drop down there. And it's going to be an abandoned removed rule, so I'm going to choose that. And you can see now we have some parameters underneath. Okay, so the first thing I need to do is make sure my alarm is enabled, which it is. Then I can go ahead and configure the rest of the parameters. The first one here is overlap, and it's going to be a percentage value, which refers to the amount of the object that has to be removed from the region in order for the alarm to be triggered. I'm going to bring this down to around about half, meaning that half of the purse will need to be removed from the region of interest in order to trigger the alarm. And this value can be tweaked at a later date if we're finding some false positives or if the alarm is going off too often. We can come back and edit it as required. Okay, you can see down below we have some other options here in a wipeout box, which can be used to detect when a lot of objects have been removed from a scene. So for example, in a retail store, it's quite common for a person to remove one or two items from a shelf, but not clear the whole shelf. To use this feature, we would need to define a percentage change, so that's the amount of the region that has changed, and the amount of time it takes for this change to occur before the alarm triggers. We don't need these options in our example, so we can just go ahead and move over to the left hand side of the screen and draw the region of interest directly onto the camera view. To do that, I'm going to choose the polygon tool. And I'm going to move up into the scene and just click to begin drawing around this purse on this display here. I click to start and then I click when I reach a corner. I can just continue to click around the object. And whenever I join back up to the start again, it's going to make the region of interest a solid yellow color. And you can see that that has been set up now. So what I need to do then is just save our rule. And our rule is now set to alarm whenever that purse is removed from display.